All right, this is the Wisconsin River at Decorah. I found this like little beach area thing when the water's low. The boat ramp is right over there, but we're gonna fish on this little beach thing. Uh, the current looks pretty strong, so we're gonna have to restring uh, some of our rods for maybe like a three ounce weight so I can toss a big bait out there. But we're gonna start with some worms and we'll cast around maybe like a jig or a float or something and see what we can get. It's kind of a small area, but I might actually just go out there as well because the whole boat area is actually open as well as the park over there if this doesn't work. There's a little bit of a cliff right here. So we're gonna toss over there first, toss one in there and see what we can get. Also shout out to Dimitri Smith. I met him a couple of days ago, pretty cool guy fishing in Madison. So shout out to him. All right, let's see what we can get. First bait, we're gonna to toss over near that cliff to my right side. I'm not gonna to toss too far in the water because I think the water probably drops off pretty deep uh, next to that cliff. One more toss, slightly further out. I think I see where the current starts, and I'm gonna to try to toss essentially like right before the current, the strong current starts because I don't, I don't want to switch off weights on this one. So just a little bit further out. Than that. I think the water is already three or four foot there, so there's probably some good fish there already. But I want to toss a little bit further out next to that cliff on the overhanging trees over there because I definitely believe there could be some really good fish not too far out. Uh, we'll just keep it there for right now and let's see what we can get there. This one I'm going to toss straight out. I got a three weight on this. Should be able to withstand the Wisconsin's current and give me some decent fish here. So this one's much, much further out. All right, we're going to throw out the small flicker shad to see if there's any fish here. So far, there have been no hits on either of the worms, which is somewhat disappointing, but we've only been here for five minutes, so I'm not really sure. And plus, like, I do think it's dusk when a lot of the fish actually start coming in. So hopefully we can get a fish here soon. Got something. Definitely got something this time. It's not getting off now. Oh, oh, nope, didn't get off. Good. That's a little bugger. I don't know what it is. I think it's a carp. Or a sucker. Not really sure what this is, but it's definitely there. Oh, it's a sturgeon. It's sturgeon. Oh, wow. An ancient fish. It's not a big one, but it's a sturgeon. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little sturgeon. Hope we get other fish here. Can't really use the sturgeon for bait. Can't really do anything with it, but nice little sturgeon there. Lake sturgeon. Nice sturgeon here. Very, very small in the Wisconsin. Let's let it go and see what else we can get. There might be a lot of these here. All right, let's let this guy go. Very, very armor plated. I see some of those now. There you go. Very nice, very healthy sturgeon. I think it drops off pretty deep here. That was a nice fish to start. Let's toss this back out and see if we can get anything else besides sturgeons. Something definitely try to take my bait here. It's still on. Oh, it's fighting pretty hard. It's probably a drum. It's okay, I could use a small drum. Is that another sturgeon though? It feels pretty powerful to be a drum. No, it is. Yeah, it is a freshwater drum. I was hoping it'd be a smaller one. I'm gonna throw this one back out. Uh, I'm gonna actually throw this one out because I don't really need it. It's a little too big, but uh, it's a sheep's head. I want a smaller sheep's head though, but if they're all this size, I am gonna cut one up for bait. So I do need bait. Very standard size sheep's head. Want one about half the size to use as bait. I'm gonna to toss this one back, but uh, if I get one that's about half the size, it's gonna be bait. All right, let's toss this fish back, see ya. There you go, off it goes. All right, let's toss this bit of worm back out and see if we can get anything. I want a really small sheep's head so I can cut it up or even use it as live bait, but probably just cut it up. All right, that's a good place to pour it. Hopefully we can get a fish. I think several people really like it when I catch sturgeon on the Wisconsin. It's not really a rare fish. It's one of my most common catches. I think besides drum and catfish, uh, maybe smallies, it's right up there with like smallies as like how common it is on the Wisconsin. It's pretty common. If you throw a worm out on any of the part of the Wisconsin below uh, Petonow or like below, uh, I think like downstream from Petonow, you'll get a lot of sturgeon. They eat a lot of worms, especially if you have enough weight to actually hold a, um, to, to hold like your bait at the bottom of Wisconsin in the middle of the river. I don't know if they're actually above. I don't really know if they're in the river above Lake Pete now, but basically that and lower, you're gonna get a lot of 
uh, sturgeons. They're at Castle Rock, Prairie du Sac, uh, Wisconsin Dells. Not really that rare at all. If something very small has maybe taken the bait. Something on there. It's small. What is it? Is it a game fish or? Oh my God, it's a walleye. Well, that's not what I want. Definitely not what I want. It's a tiny, tiny little walleye. But another species at least, walleye. Got all three baits out, attempting to catch a very small fish, a very small drum or one of those like sand shiners for some bait for tonight. It's about uh, a little before eight. Hopefully I get it soon. Got another fish and it feels pretty small. Is it another drum? Is it the bait fish I've been waiting for? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh no, it's another walleye. This one's actually bigger than the other one. Another walleye. Nice little wall Walter. They're biting on the worms, which is bad for me because I need drum bait. Seems to be a lot of small walleye out there. I really need a drum bud so I can cut for bait. Can't use the small Walters. So they're not any good for me, and I can't really keep them to eat because they're too small anyways. So hopefully we get a drum before I run out of bait. Should have bought more bait before I came. I got another one. Unfortunately, it's probably just another Walter. These small walleyes aren't really good for me. I need a drum so I can actually get some bait for catfish. Is that a drum? Oh, no. Is that a, is a, no, it's a rock bass. I'll take it. I will take it. That's a big rock bass. Big rock bass. I will definitely take that. That will be mighty fine bait. It's a rock bass. It's going to be Mr. Bait now. It's actually seven or eight inches. Not a bad rock bass. All right, you're going to be cut bait. What? No! Cut that rock bass head uh, hooked up as bait. I know walleye after a certain size, they will eat cut bait. So we're getting a really big piece. So small walleye can't just take it. I also wanted out another current a little bit because flatheads if uh, I know flatheads, if you have cut bait and it's moving, they will actually bite it. So that's what we're going for. Hopefully, we can get a fish. All right, got the rock bass bait out, the cut bait out. All right, let's toss for some Walters now. Getting to that time of the day. I'll probably use a uh, smaller lure here too because the walters here are pretty small so i'm probably going to use the mini one all right i got a fish pretty sure it's a fish i hear it splashing i'm pretty sure that's not a turtle turtle does not splash like that i thought the last one might be a turtle but this one is most definitely a fish pescadores or a fish i'm hoping it's a flathead it is on cut bait oh come on don't don't come don't you dare come off fish don't you freaking dare come off. It's not running like a channel and it, f I think it, like usually when a channel gets pretty close to shore, it runs, but this one's not running. Uh, is it a channel? Is that a walleye? What the heck is that? I can't, oh my God, is that a walleye? No, it's a, ga no, it's a channel gotho fish. Dang it, dang it. I was hoping it'd be something amazing but it's not a flathead, it's just a channel. It's not an extremely big one either. Probably like four or five pounds, but at least we got one. The channel got the fish. All right, channel. You are the biggest fish I've caught today, even though I caught like four or five fish, but we have one, we have one. So basically what I did was I just like tossed this particular cut bait out in the center and let it just basically sail down. That is the best way to catch the mighty channel gato fish. We got one, channel gato fish. Probably four pounds or so. Pretty small one, but still a pretty good gato-ish fish. All right, let's let it go and get back to fishing. All right, there's a gato fish. Gonna let it go and uh, gonna get back to fishing. So we're gonna just deliver it in the water and see if it can gato itself away. Okay, we'll give it a little bit of a push. There you go. There it goes. Gets right off, gets right off. Very nice, very nice. Interesting, but not quite the sa the fish I wanted on that trip. That Decora place is not as good as the other boat ramp place, but I did get two walleyes, although really small, a rock bass, a drum, a sturgeon, and a catfish. So got a lot of variety, not a bad trip, but uh, hopefully uh, on the next spot, 
that will go in the Wisconsin. We'll get some true monsters. So like and subscribe, hit the bell notifications button, and I'll see you next time.